Hey everyone, welcome back to another counter side video. In today's video and the start of the week, we are going to discuss the bans and ups for PvP, especially for ranked PvP. And also, I'm going to feature a few matches for ranked PvP. But before that, if you wanted updated counter side videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. All right, so let us proceed to Gauntlet. So I left off last week at Gold 5. I couldn't progress that much because, again, I had tough competition already having a lot of uh, a lot of very good and high-end units such as uh, Ainz and Zwei. And I think Rosaria was on, you know, some teams already. So I had to more or less uh, be contented with what I have. So more or less, I couldn't really go up. Uh, Matchups were not favorable for me. And also, just to add something, guys, I am a newbie at this. So more or less, I just started the game uh, during Southeast Asia launch, and I'm feeling my way through PvP. But let's. But before that, let's get into the bans and ups for this week. So again, there are similar phases here. So you have Gaiyun. You have Evelyn Keller and Li. Have Li sorry, only two new faces would be Liu Mi. Um, you have there as well Yang Harim and Kyle Wong. So more or less, they are going to be banned. Banned two each for Gayun, uh, Yang Harim, and Kyle Wong. But for Evelyn Keller, she goes down to ban one, and Liu Mi is at ban one as well. So let's check out the banned ships. So for the banned ships for this week, you have obviously Lake Superior and you have Kamizumi. So again, it's another week for Enterprise to show how powerful she is. But I guess after this week, uh, Enterprise is going to be banned. So more or less, I'm going to maximize this week leveling her up. And more or less for next week, um, We'll probably revert to Lake Superior if her usage goes down, but I guess it's going, not going to be that case. But we also have the Gleipnir for us to use. So again, actually, I'm, I'm happy with that. I don't have Kamizumi. I have Lake Superior, Gleipnir, and Enterprise. So um, the three major ships uh, I have. But actually, let's go back to the band list for the units. So, um, who is going to be free this week from last week? So, you have Zhao Lin, you have Nanahara Chifuyu, and you have Hayame Sanai. So, more or less, the three of them are going to wreak havoc in, in what you call this, in the meta or in PvP rank. Um, one thing to note is that those two um, units that were out from last week's ban, namely Hayami and Zhao Lin, they're going to be snipers and more or less you're going to need a lot of um a lot of um deployment which is deploy anywhere similar to similar to um elizabeth pendragon um you you have a lots of units similar to those you have um kang so young as well so more or less they will be seeing action in this week's pvp so let's but before that let's 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 take a look at the ups so for the ups you have here um Lee Jin uh and Blacktail and also you have Ogami Mazaki okay so I, I I won't delve so much into their to their uh what do you call this into their build um I just want to say that Lee Jin here is going to be your short-term build. I'm not sure if she's going to be good after this ups because she'll be reverting back to two, uh, to three. But for Blacktail, um, she um, Blacktail is actually a worthwhile investment to build for the long term because again, um, Blacktail can be used for your mech team. So more or less, you just have to pick up pick which are you going to use or if you're going to develop them this week just to use them for pvp but more or less for me i don't have the resources um to build them already because i'm stacked in terms of my development of 
I think I have a few counters that I have to develop. So more or less, it's a pass for me to develop these up units. So let's go into... So again, more or less, I've covered the banned ships. Um, uh, it's going to be a week for Enterprise, I'm sure. And let's go to my team and let's see who I am bringing this week. More or less, this is my primary team um, that I already set up and I'm trying to to carry for the enterprise i'm at max level 90 i still don't have the resources to go up to level 100 but this is already good already i actually used her last week um for pvp uh, up to level 70 i just uh, leveled her up to 90 this week oh starting today uh monday but there are some considerations in terms of if this team doesn't work the one that i have here on my screen I have the option of bring. I, I really don't want to bring in banned units unless I really need to. So I can actually swap out um, uh, units for Ryan Farrier. Actually, that's one consideration that I am going to swap in. Um, probably once I finish Rosaria, then I can swap her in as well because I need more Rangers. Probably swap her out for for Sylvia, and also I'm I'm trying to level up the twins, so Ains and Zue. So more or less, they are they are the what do you call this? The ones that I I am planning to swap in. Uh, apart from that, I'm not sure with the others is if I'm going to use them. If I want to swap in, probably some considerations that I might swap in would be Evelyn Keller because she is only at band one. Probably I'd, I'd consider that if I need healing. Right now, I really need healers for my PvP team. So, more or less, again, Evelyn Keller, I'm actually developing as well Nanahara um, Chinatsu and. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to develop uh, Claudia Nelson, but I think I will have because I don't have any choice anymore. So more or less that this is actually um, the, the team that I'm testing today. So let's go into PvP. Let's leave this as is because I already made this team. So trying to find an opponent. Um, let's have a few matches under my belt for today. And let's see if uh, I'm going to win. I'm really a novice at this, even a beginner um, for PvP. Uh, I'm still struggling with combinations, placements, and deployments. So more or less, please hang in there, guys, because this is going to be a rough ride for me. So uh, here we go. So more or less, this is going to be a... I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm not, I don't know if it's going to be a piece of cake or it's more of probably a tough one for me. I, I'm not sure if I'm deploying things right. Hopefully I am. Um, this team is really untested. Never had a chance to test this today. So hopefully I am going to be okay with this build. So here we go. I'm really getting the hang of using the Enterprise. I haven't used her that much because I have been using either the Glipnir or Lake Superior. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Um, more or less, um, uh, what do you call it? Awakened Hildy has been paying off for me already um, in terms of... Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of defense, in terms of making sure she doesn't die early. So again, um, it kind of pays off and well, good game. Good match. So thank you for the win and let's move on to the next match. Um, again, I'm still having a you know hard time playing PvP. Um, I'm still experimenting with placements, where to put. Uh, I'm also watching... Um, the other videos of the other content creators in terms of placement, how to play. Because again, uh, when I started this game, when 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 the game dropped, it was really a shock to me how to play this. I've been playing Exo Zeros for a year, which is usually turn-based. And now, 
this game is totally different in terms of placement, strategy, in terms of who to deploy first. So again, it is really it was really a shock to my system. I actually often played in in auto because I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to more or less uh, miss a beat. So I hope I did that there right, which is actually wrong because again, uh, so we have I'm going to try, try to salvage this situation. Let's try to salvage the situation by I'm, I'm not sure if I can still salvage this. I actually had a wrong placement. Hopefully I still win this one. Not really sure at this point. Again, wrong placement for me. <laughs> really don't, you know, really don't know how to how to do this right at this point. And, and including the combination of heroes. I think I'm oh, sorry, combination of units. I think I have it wrong. So more or less after probably this um today I'll have another look at my current pvp roster if it's really viable moving forward but i'll have one or two more games just to get the hang of this um so more or less guys again i'm a beginner i'm a novice at playing pvp i just know more or less how to build them but in terms of playing i'm still learning um again so and and for all the people who got Awakened Hill, she is not really, you know, she's not really superior. She's not invincible. You just still have to take care of her. You still have to take care of uh, of uh, how she's deployed, who are her supporting cast. Because again, when she dies, it's usually the end for <laughs> the end for you. <laughs> so more or less, let's deploy that there. Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. Anyway, it's okay. Let's deploy that there and very good. Nice timing. Nice timing. Had that. See, again, it it usually goes down to timing deployment uh who to bait who to bait out in terms of um, if if the enemy doesn't want to go first who you can who you can um support and more or less who can follow up that's actually the nature of this game so again this was actually again one wrong placement and one good placement so this is going to be a good win for me um i i just i just corrected that wrong placement so again um let's have another match my last match for the night so let us see let us see if i can win three out of four matches today three out of four is not bad i just have to keep on practicing actually and probably have a have a good enough set team that I could bring moving forward. Do that. Sometimes I forget I deploy on top, but more or less I should deploy in front because again, uh, you have to have a pushback sometimes you don't time it enough that they go past you uh when when you deploy awaken hill day but more or less um hopefully i did this right this time so where are we okay actually the fight sometimes confuses me because i don't know where my cursor is and sometimes I just drop people in the battlefield by mistake. So more or less, this is going to be good already. Um, actually, this week is kind of not one stop in the middle. Because if you have Kyle Wong here, and if your enemy uses Kyle Wong, 
more or less it's going to be a tough to get through the middle now that he's banned and a lot of people don't use him um i think this would be an easier pvp and more of a smoother one okay guys so more or less that's it so in terms of battle stats i forgot to show you the battle stats so again hilde very good sylvia lena cooper actually is still good even without python so i might keep this team i might upgrade it depending on my progress on the other units of leveling up rosaria and the twins and um i'm not sure yet with the others but again um the old guy i'm going to try to use probably depending but i'm happy with cindy looper and ari alford i just need the twins to back them up with lower cost okay so that's it for me guys so anyway for those who have reached the end of this video please consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot also don't forget to click the bell icon for updated counter side videos anyway guys if you have anything on your mind please put them down in the comment section below also take care stay safe this is the warden out of here